YouTube, what is going on, you delightful guardians of the internet? It is Mesa Sean trying to come up with a different adjective than just saying beautiful or gorgeous every time. What's up, guys? What's going on? Iron Banner is coming back. I wanted to talk about it. I wanted to go over a few things, share my onions, my opinions on it, as well as gather your thoughts and opinions. And it was kind of a funny coinky dinky that I posted that Queen's Wrath Up video yesterday saying that, uh, sorry guys, I was late to the party because looks like they, uh, they are putting that on the back burner for a little while, you know, which is good because, again, Bungie's listening to us, they're listening to the community, they're going to make changes, and, uh, you know, it looks like the Iron Banner is getting kind of a makeover, you know, which is good. Now listen, I, uh, some, please don't take offense to this, but I feel like sometimes we as gamers get, I don't, we seem a little entitled sometimes, you know, when the Iron Banner rolled out and it obviously wasn't really what we expected, let's just say that, okay, the rage threads I saw all over the place, including Reddit and YouTube videos and, you know, okay, we got it, okay, you showed a level 10 with a, a Kova stove downing a level 29 or, you know, something like that, okay, we get it, okay, remember, this is, this is not like Destiny 3 where they've, we should have gotten it right by now. This is it was technically the first Iron Banner, so they're listening. They're gonna make changes, okay? I still think for me, I'm gonna have a hard time with it because I play PvP solo. That's what I like to do. It's it's hard for me to play with people because I choke. See here, this game I go a 4.0 KDR, I get 16 kills because I'm playing solo. I don't know for some reason I get flustered, but um, let's talk about the changes they're gonna make and um, yeah, let's just get into it. And it looks like it's gonna be. Definitely for the better. It's going to be more fun. But again, for solo players, you know, like I made that stupid joke in the first preparation vid, you know, the first rule of Iron Banners, do not play the Iron Banner solo. Second rule of Iron Banners, you do not play Iron Banner solo. Third rule is, if Sean sends you an invite, you must play, maybe, because I definitely am not playing that thing solo. So first off, you can't get into the Iron Banner unless you're level 20. Although, if you're below level 20, you can join if, I, I guess, the party leader is a level 20, but... You're not going to want to go in there if you're below level 20, trust me. Everyone's going to have their A game on. At this point in the game's life cycle, there's a lot of level 30s out there, a lot of, a lot of level 29s. You don't want to be in lobbies with them, especially with level advantages turned on. You will get destroyed. So now, I'm curious how they're going to do the uh, matchmaking, because uh, if you're familiar with my other videos, I'm a firm believer that Bungie did nail it with skill-based matchmaking. And if you're new to my channel, I'll just tell you, I've said it a few times before. I'm a 1.05 KDR person, all right? Nothing special. And I'm in lobbies, regardless of level, whether they're 29s or 15s, we're all pretty much in, um, I'd say, an even playing field in terms of gun skill. I've gotten on a number of subscribers' accounts to test out guns. Thank you, guys. You guys are absolutely lovely. And when I get on some of your accounts and your KDRs are way higher than mine, I get in lobbies that are just hands down, they're just way better players than me. So I truly think it is definitely based on kill death ratio. And I really hope that uh, the Iron Banner is that way also. Now to address the rampant rage quitting, because you basically got screwed if you stayed in the match and lost in the previous Iron Banner. To address that, they're actually they're giving out medallions, and they're going to give it to losers like me. Because I, I played seven games in the Iron Banner solo, and I lost seven games, so I got nothing. But I stayed to the end. But uh, because that's one of the things I like about regular PvP is, uh, and I always stay to the end, and I always say everyone should stay to the end because you never know what you're going to get. I've said it before. I've seen two times the the dead last player. One time someone got a Monte Carlo, and the other time someone got a Truth rocket launcher. So if you stay in, you lose, but upon your next win, that medallion's then going to carry over and convert into reputation almost equal to a win. So basically they're trying to reward you say, listen, stay in the game, don't rage quit because it's really frustrating for everyone else because the richer get richer because if everyone's just leaving, you, you guarantee the party of five is going to go in there, everyone's going to leave within the first minute. So it looks like they're also making changes to the armor and guns you can get from the Iron Banner and basically making it the equivalent of something that you'd get out of a raid. So moving the the armor in particular will uh, be able to get you to a light level up to 30, which I think is a great idea because if you think about it for the last Iron Banner, I mean, what was the real incentive? Every Just go do the Vault of Glass once a week and if you have three characters, you could do it three times a week and get raid armor and get up to, you know, light level 30. You don't really have to do anything. So again, more incentives. See guys, they're listening, they're changing, they they want us to play in this thing. They gotta give us incentives. I just hope they can figure out something to do for solo players. And also with regards to weapons, you know, you can get it from Lord Saladin when you have enough reputation and all that stuff, but they also will be in drops after matches. So another good thing. Kudos Bungie. 
And the bounties are getting a makeover, thank god. Because, I mean, when I went in there, there was maybe one of them that was doable for me as a solo player to get the 10,000 experience points. But they're actually not going to be at the bounty tracker. They're going to be at Lord Saladin himself. And so they're going to tone him down and make him a little bit easier to achieve. Again, more incentives. That's it. That's what their whole goal is here is because they want people to get into this. They want to make it fun for everyone, but also rewarding. Because, I mean, let's face it, a lot of this game with regards to armor, gear, weapons is to show off. You know, you want to show off your gear. You know, come on, everyone's looking at each other's characters in lobbies. Um, inspecting them to see what kind of banging guns or banging armor they got. So in the previous Iron Banner, we saw uh, Timmer's Latch, right? The hand cannon that you could uh, get as a drop after a victory. And you had the ability to re-roll its upgrades on each drop. So you can pretty much uh, customize it how you know however you want. Now they're going to offer that you could take any of the guns that you get from the Iron Banner, bring it to Lord Saladin, and you could actually reforge it, thus resetting its its stats and upgrades and everything, starting from scratch. But and it'll take um, they're going to use Motes of Light to do this. So I think it's pretty cool. I mean, I blow my Motes of Light every week on Azur just to get an Engram that I end up uh, dismantling because I don't need it or I have it already. So I think it's kind of a cool idea. New feature that they have called Tempered, which I think is really, really cool, where Lord Saladin's going to offer you a 12-hour buff called Tempered, where um, you're actually going to get boost in your reputation gains. And that's for because everyone can't play this game for that entire week or whatever, you know, how many days it's going to be. People have jobs. People have other lives. I know I tried to have a life outside of Destiny, but uh, I think this is really cool because it's, you know, if people have, you know, certain schedules and they can't devote so much time to the Iron Banner, they're not going to suffer for it. And they said they are going to be looking to make sure they fine-tune the new feature of Tempered, you know, its potency and everything like that. Because, you know, you could already see this, there could be some room for abuse there if there are people who actually do have enough time to put a million hours into uh, the Iron Banner and take use of that Tempered feature. So I'm not exactly sure how they're going to do it, but again, remember, they're trying to balance everything and, you know, they're taking feedback from us. Alright, so they changed their tune. <laughs> Originally, they were going to reset the reputation because, you know, their goal was to bring everyone together, play the Iron Banner, and then next event, restart it all over again. So they're not doing that, thank goodness. I think that's a really good idea. Encourage people to keep coming back to it. So they just, uh, they've increased the rank up to five now. So another really good idea, I think, just to keep people coming back. Again, guys, trying to make events for fun that's fun for all of us and keep us playing. Keep us 3.2 million average players a day playing this game. And then I will read a verbatim. It says, in future Iron Banners, we will change over from reputation to an event standing model where ranks are reset, but only after we better tune the effort required to reach the higher ranks. So in other words, what that just means is that they're going to fine tune things eventually, and they really want to make it so that it's like the best versus the best, which is the way it should be. It should be a, a wow event, something that you're excited about, and that, again, it... it, it in my opinion, it goes along with the whole building of a community. You know, they, they built a community around PvE, getting people to play together because you can't do strikes, can't do raids unless you have friends and you have parties together. So they're kind of applying this now to PvP, you know, which means I need to start playing with people in PvP and get over my, uh, I don't know if it's fears or whatever. I just, I feel like I choke. See, this game is a perfect example. I'm solo, I'm not listening to anyone, I'm focused or whatever, you know. Like, I was streaming tonight after the Vault of Glass raid. I played one game. I don't know. I get flustered when I think people are watching me. I don't know. That's something I need to get over. Maybe you guys will help me. So now that we don't have an official date yet, they're looking at probably by the end of the year, which is good. Guys, let them fine tune it. Let them get it perfect. When things get rolled out too quickly, they end up not coming out very good. So it wouldn't surprise me if it comes out actually after the first expansion, the Dark Below. Which, by the way, I'm giving away an expansion pass on my next Ask Mesa Episode 4, which should be up any day now. So that's it for me, guys. Talk to me in the comment section. Let me know what do you guys think of all these changes. I think it's for the better. I think they're going in the right direction. And look, let them fine-tune it before they roll it out. So that's it for me, guys. You leave a like on this video if you see fit. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay beautiful, Guardians.